Hey everyone, this is Jorge from Smart BSD Tech Reviews. Today we are going to be talking about how to go from zero to a full functional installation of PreCX on Raspberry Pi. We'll be using Raspbian and getting Raspbian to an SD card is easy. Just go to balena.io slash etcher and install this into your computer. In our environment we use a full Raspbian image with a desktop environment, but Raspbian Lite will work as well, and it is only a 312 megabyte download. We suggest Raspbian Lite. Open Etcher and write Raspbian to the SD card. We need to enable SSH and configure networking in order to access our system remotely. Type raspy-config from the command line to get to this screen. Set an IP address to finish networking configuration. You can try 3CX Pro full functionalities for 40 days and 3CX Standard for a whole year with the same license. I'll be using 3CX for testing purposes. If you are a company, select company instead of individual. At this point we'll be adding 3CX repos to our system, update them and then install 3CX. All links are linked in the description below. Pause this video so you can install 3CX. After accepting the license agreement, you'll be prompted to configure 3CX via a web browser or option 2 from the command line. In my case, I chose option 1 using a web browser. Copy the URL and start your configuration. Put in your license key and click next. Set up the Management Console account and click Next. FreeCX detects your public IP address. Click Next. In my case, my IP is dynamic and I'll let FreeCX to manage my fully qualified domain name and SSL certificates. This is the same static IP address we set during networking configuration. Click Next. I'll be using two extensions, so option 1 is more than enough for this purpose. If you need more extensions, select the option that best suits your needs. Set the admin email to receive important notifications. In a previous step, I chose to use 3CX fully qualified domain names. In this step, I'll let them manage SMTP as well. 
Select your country and time zone. This is important because call reporting, rules and notifications will be using these settings. Create the operator extension and click Next. Choose the countries where you will allow calls to be made. Select the language for system prompts. This concludes the basic installation. I'll be releasing a second video where I will demonstrate how to set up a couple extensions and how to use 3CX cell phone apps to call within the allowed countries using your local voice or IP service provider. For this, you will need some hardware which is linked in the description below. If you want to follow up on the next video and learn how everything fits together, I highly advise you you go and buy it. That's it for this video, drop a like if you enjoyed, get subscribed for more awesome content and catch you guys in the next one.